y'all and welcome to today's video. I am going to be sharing with y'all three looks using these new mini palettes from Martine Cosmetics. I'm super excited because Martine Cosmetics sent me their three new palettes. So we're going to do a look in swatches with each of these palettes. We have a mini nude palette with six neutral warm shades. We have a mini silver palette with six cool toned silvery gray shades and the one I'm most excited about is this one this is the mini pink palette this one's the most colorful we're gonna do a look with each of these palettes I'm gonna do swatches and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on these and if you're new here hey my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel we don't try to be perfect we just want to have a good time with our makeup whatever that means I do upload lots of new videos every single week so I hope you will subscribe before you leave today, but I'm ready to play with these. So let's jump into it. All right. Martine Cosmetics did send me these palettes. I am going to be creating three looks for y'all and showing you swatches. These palettes are available now at the Martine Cosmetics website. I'm not sure if they will be coming to Beauty Bay. Martine Cosmetics does usually come to Beauty Bay. So if you like to shop there, I will link Beauty Bay and the Martine Cosmetics site down below. But these palettes, I really, really like the layout. Layout. I'm just going to kind of share my first thoughts with y'all. I like the layout. I like that we have the six shades. I feel like this is sleek, compact. It wouldn't take up a lot of room in your makeup collection. And I like the color stories. So like I said, we do have the warm neutral ones. We do have the silver one and we do have the pink one. So I'm going to show you a close up of all three of these palettes. And then I want to show you swatches of these palettes so that you can see all together how they swatch out. Each of these palettes have a good mix of mattes and shimmers. The neutral one and the silver one all have four mattes and two shimmers, whereas the pinky one has an equal number, three shimmers and three mattes. All of the palettes do go from light to dark, which I do like that as well. So I'm going to show you some looks. I have already filmed look two and three. So what we're going to do now is do our first look with this pink palette. I think it's so cute. So I am going to prime my eyes for shadow. I'm going to zoom y'all in. We're going to create our three looks. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to kind of give you my overall thoughts on these. I do always follow up reviews after a few weeks of testing and trying the palettes more and more. So you'll definitely see these in a speed review video in a few weeks. But today, I just want to create looks, do the swatches and give you kind of my initial thoughts in case you're interested in these palettes. Maybe you just want to hang out, maybe you want to shop your stash. But I'm excited. I really want to play with this pink palette. So let's do it. All right, so to start off, I really want to start with the deepest, darkest shade. This really pretty kind of like brick red. I love the tones in this palette. Immediately when I saw these, this is the one that I was most excited about. So I'm going to take this and I've got this on my Sigma brush. This is one of the brushes from my Sigma favorite set. And I'm just going to put this all in the crease. So first I stamped it on like this to get the most pigment. And then I'm going to lightly blend, but I really want to make sure I'm getting the pigment on and then just lightly, lightly kind of going back and forth like this. Okay. So I'm going to take that same shade and I'm going to put it under my lower lash line. And I'm going to kind of connect it out here. Now listen, this isn't done blending, but I just want to go ahead and get the lower lash line shade on and around like this. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this gorgeous pink shade. This shade is calling to me. This is a really pretty shade and I'm actually going to grab, whoops, no, this, this brush. Yes, I set the brush out. I was like, which one do I want to use? I want to grab this. 
and I'm gonna get that pink shadow on it and then I'm going to just diffuse that more kind of like brick red shade. I'm going to buff and blend it out with this beautiful more bright pink and I'm gonna take my shadow up high because I want the drama like I want the drama but if you do not want this dramatic of a look you can definitely keep this pink shade a lot lower I'm just lightly lightly blending back and forth back and forth with this and I'm even going to take it under the lower lash line too just very lightly okay now I'm going to take that light vanilla shade this one definitely has a pink undertone to it I know all of these shades have a light, I mean, all of the palettes have a light vanilla looking shade, but this one has a pinky undertone and I'll show you in the next looks the difference between the other two. You'll see one has a nice warm, almost vanilla tone to it and then one of them is definitely more cool. So they're not the same between the three in case that was something you're curious about. I'm just taking this on my Sigma brush and just lightly kind of going under the brow and then just using this as an extra kind of blending shade. It can definitely be fun. If you're normally somebody who does your matte shadows from light to dark, maybe switch it up. Try something new. Try going dark to light like I am today. Okay, so for the lid, we're gonna do two of these shimmers. I'm gonna go in first with this beautiful red shade, and then I'm gonna go in with the more mid-tone shade on the inner part of the lid. Okay, so I have that red shimmer on my brush, and I did spray my brush with a little setting spray after, after I picked up the shadow, and this is just gonna be the outer half of the lid. So first, I'm stamping this shadow on. And you can see Martine Cosmetics makes very smooth, very smooth shimmer shades. Not chunky or textured or anything like that. Just very, very smooth. Okay, after that, I'm going to take that other shimmer. And this is going to go on the inner part of the lid. So I'm just going to press it on like this and then after I have the shade pressed on I'm going to lightly lightly flick the shadow so that it's not a harsh line where the two shimmers meet I'm just going to take my time and lightly kind of diffuse the edges of where they meet okay let's add a shimmer to the inner corner let's go in with this beautiful pinky shade this one looks like it has some really beautiful sparkle to it so i'm just gonna pop it right there yeah that's really pretty i'm gonna put that right there and then i am going to throw on some eyeliner i'm gonna wear maybe a half lash a half lash could be pretty with this and then i will be back to show you the finished look all right, y'all, here is the finished look. I put on a little eyeliner, mascara, and a half lash, and I'm super into this. I will list things I'm using. All of that will be in the description box, so definitely check there if you have any questions, but I think this is really pretty. I am really feeling this look. I think it has color. I think it's still soft and beautiful. Everything applied really, really well. And I'm super into this look. But I do want to show you my look with the nude and the silver palette. So let's jump into it. Okay, for this look, I want to use the nude palette. We're going to do two different eye looks. I'm going to do nude over here, and then we'll play with silver next. But I'm going to go with the nude one, and I'm going to put on eye primer. And then what I think we shall do is maybe just start with this mid-tone kind of caramel shade right here. Okay, so I've got that shade picked up on my Sigma brush. And I'm just going to put this all over, basically. I'm going to put this right in here where the socket of my eye is. I'm going to blend it up. 
and out and back and forth like this. Just sweeping, blending in very soft, easy, light motions. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the shade Charlotte, this really pretty deeper brown. I like that we have four different mattes in this palette. And then we have two really pretty shimmer shades. I just feel like we can do some nice looks with a lot of contrast with this palette. So I'm taking this shade on my Sigma brush and I'm gonna put it at the lash line, like halfway on the lid like this and then blend it up and out. Just kind of an effortless, neutral, smoky-esque eye, you know? Okay, what I wanna do now is go into this deep, dark brown shade right down here. This is a brush from my Sigma Favorites set. And I'm going to put this right in the outer corner. I'm just gonna keep it pretty low and right out here. And then what I wanna do is also bring this under the lower lash line just blending back and forth, letting this be almost a little messy, a little lived in type of look. So I'm just gonna wrap it around like that, back and forth. And then I can go in with my original brush that I started with and kind of blend things out like this. Okay, for my lid shade, I wanna go in with this shade. This looks so pretty to me. I'm really into the tone of this. So we're gonna put this all over the lid from here. And then I'm not gonna bring it out far enough to cover the mattes, but I'm gonna pick this up on my Sigma brush and I am going to spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray, makeup mist, whatever you wanna use is fine. I just like it. It gives a little more intensity to the shadow and helps minimize fallout. Okay, so I'm just gonna look down into my mirror and I'm going to pop this all right here. Oh, that is a pretty shade. That is such a pretty shade. I like that. It's a very smooth shimmer. If you don't want to like emphasize any texture or anything like that you may have on your lid, I think you'll really like the shimmers of Martine Cosmetics because they're just very smooth and pretty. So once I have the shade pressed on my lid, I'm just going to go and blend a little bit back and forth. Now, if you want to be precise with your shimmers, don't do what I'm about to do. I don't love precision a lot in my looks, like just my personal preference. So I'm gonna go back with that original brush. I'm gonna look down and I'm just going to softly blend the edges and that will disperse a little bit of that shimmer as well, which I kind of like. It just kind of softens and gives a kind of blown out look. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is go into this kind of warm cream shade right here. I'm gonna take that on my pencil brush. I really like how they put the Martine emblem there. And I'm just gonna put this, we're gonna do a matte in our corner highlight. So I'm gonna wrap it like this. I'm even gonna bring it up a little bit to really open up that part of my eye. Wrap it around like this. And then what I wanna do is grab this copper shade and I'm grabbing this on an angled brush. All the brushes I'm using are from Sigma. So I'm gonna cover my brush in this shade and I am gonna spray my brush again. After I pick up the shadow, I spray my brush. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Let me see if I can angle myself where you can see, but I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to run that copper under this part of my under eye. I don't want it to come all the way across, but I just want it to be like a little hint of copper right here on the inner part of my under eye. So I'm just kind of pressing the brush and then flicking it, pressing, and then just a little flick. Okay, this is where I'm gonna leave this eye look with the nude palette. I am gonna do liner and mascara, but let's go ahead and play with the silver palette first, and then I'll do liner and mascara all together. So I'm going to 
just hold on let me blend right here just a little bit more okay I'm gonna prime my eyes for shadow over here and what we're gonna do with this one actually is we're gonna start with this mid-tone gray right here I like how in this palette we have the same format as the nude so we have three cool toned mattes and then we have two shimmer shades right here Okay, so I've got that mid-tone gray and I'm going to kind of stamp it on. With cool tones, I tend to be a little more precise. Okay, now that I have that on, I wanna go into this deep shade. This looks like a black and I'm gonna pick that up on my Sigma brush. And what I wanna do is put this in the outer corner and then also right here on the inner corner. So it's gonna go right in here with the deep dark shade and I'm just going to kind of flick the middle section we're going to cover up with the shimmer so I'm fine with flicking this shade kind of up and in bringing it up just right here and then also kind of blending it out but again, I'm not gonna worry about blending too much on the lid because I'm just gonna go over top of that with the shimmer anyways. I'm gonna wrap this a little bit around the outer corner on the lower lash line. All right, what I wanna do now is pick up this shade right here. This shade is really pretty. It looks like a gray purpley shade. So there's definitely some purple in this one, which I love. Purple and gray together, beautiful. So this is just gonna go on the center part of my lid up to the socket and down. So lash line to the socket. I'm just gonna go back and forth. So you can see that this is a purple leaning gray, but it definitely has that purple. And it has a really smooth, shimmery finish. It's not chunky at all. Just very, very pretty. So I'm pressing it on, and then you see I'm lightly blending the edges so that it kind of fades into that matte shade without any harsh lines or anything. Okay, I wanna dip into the light shade and the light gray matte <laughs> and I just want to take this on a fluffy brush and kind of diffuse out the edges here so just kind of going back and forth like this very very light hand barely grazing my skin now for the lower lash line we're going to go into this really pretty gunmetal kind of deep dark slate metallic shade and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line. Okay, so this is going to go all underneath my lower lash line. I'm going to keep it close to the lashes first. And then I'm lightly, lightly going to drag it down and around. All right, then we're going to go in with this matte cream shade. So the matte cream we used over here is definitely more warm in tone. And this one has a more cool tone to it. It's a little more like, yeah, it's just a little cooler. Whereas this one you can definitely see has more warmth to it. So I'm just gonna make sure I get that on. I'm even gonna layer it a little bit on top of the gray right here. And yeah, you can definitely see over here, more warmth because they do look very similar in the pan, but they're definitely different in tone. So just wrapping that like that. And then this, these, these are our finished looks. I am gonna put on liner and mascara though, so you can see how the look really comes together. Okay, y'all, I put on some black eyeliner and some mascara. I decided to skip false lashes today, but I'm loving my two eye looks. I feel like they look so cool. Very easy looks, nothing super complicated. I think this one may, way more like blown out. This one with the kind of spotlight right here in the center. I'm into it. All of the mattes in these two palettes blended very easily. The shimmers are shimmering, looking really good. I'm excited that I put 
both of those shades on the inner corner because I really like I could see that they looked similar when I saw the photos and then when I looked at them in the pan I could see that one was a little more cool one was a little more warm but I think having them on the inner corner I can tell the difference way way more once they're actually applied and on the eyes so I'm into these looks I hope that you enjoyed seeing these I think they're very pretty very very pretty I like that we have a warm option and I like that we have a cool option but I do want to share my kind of final thoughts on these my first impression so one last look at the nude and one last look at the silver and then we'll move on all right y'all I hope you enjoyed seeing these three looks I really enjoyed playing with these palettes and I'm looking forward to playing with them more. I will definitely be following up in a few weeks after I've tested and tried them some more, but I did use every shade in all three of the palettes. I really like the six pan format. I think these are nice, compact, and I used all of the shades and all of the looks, but you of course don't have to do that. You can create much simpler more simple looks if that's your preference but I really wanted to try all of the shadows on the eyes of course this one's my favorite it's more colorful so of course it's my favorite I had a lot of fun with these palettes I hope that you enjoyed watching this video I would love to know what you thought of the looks which one is your favorite look one look two, look three, definitely let me know. I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for spending your time watching my videos and I will see you again in another one very soon. Bye.